Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. Yes, we're a little bit behind. We're still trying to catch up to the uh, consultations, uh, spell work. Uh, it's been crazy. Anyways, for those of you guys trying to get private consultations, now is the time to reach out through email uh, as we have opened up and we are rather uh, booking very quickly for the month of March going into April now. So uh, with that, said let's get into your reading Taurus how are you I hope you are doing amazing let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month remaining of February 2021 in regards to love and romance oh I thought a card jumped out let's see what's going on here Taurus Sun Moon Rising Venus for the month remaining of February 2021 in regards to love and romance, how are you doing, Taurus? Are you taking it easy on yourself? Or are you on this quest to create stability? Are you feeling creative? I feel that a lot of Taurus are extremely motivated right now. And that's a blessing. That is a beautiful thing. Okay, let's see. Your first card here is the Devil card. So the Devil card could represent dealing with a Capricorn energy for others of you. Uh, this could symbolize uh, releasing or understanding certain toxic behaviors about ourselves or within ourselves, or even toxic behaviors of the person of our interest that we're trying to release ourselves from. The next card here is the Six of Wands. So uh, I feel heavily for some of you guys, you are dealing with a Capricorn type of energy. Um, the way you're viewing the situation is, again, with the Devil card, it could be that the person of your interest is currently either releasing themselves from a toxic or karmic type of connection. Uh, for others of you, it could just represent that, again, like I said, you are dealing with a Capricorn or fire energy here. Six of Wands, you see them very stable. You see them... Um, very confident in themselves and really knowing who the who they are three of pentacles here uh, this could be a connection that came either from work or it is a person that is creating or uh, truly inspiring for you to basically shoot for the stars uh, this is okay so what i'm getting is i'm getting two different messages for some of you guys you are dealing with a capricorn or fire energy a sagittarius leo um, Aries type of energy. Uh, for others, it could be Earth energy like yourself, a Taurus, a Virgo, or Capricorn, like I said. Um, however, I feel that for some of you guys, you guys are currently shedding certain toxic behaviors or toxic people from your life. With the Six of Wands being focused and determined, like I mentioned initially, being very inspired or motivated. At Three of Pentacles does represent um, coming together or wanting to come together. I feel that for some of you guys, if you're currently not dealing with anyone new, there's going to be a new person coming into your life that is going to inspire you. I feel that they're really going to want to push that, you know, that envelope for you um, in a positive way because I feel that there's certain things about you, Taurus, that you often question. Um, for some of you guys, this could be in regards to confidence. Uh, it could be in regards to feeling some type of way when it comes to either success or when it comes to love and romance. And I feel that this person is coming in and they're coming in extremely confident. They know exactly what it is that they want and they see the potential in you. And I feel that they're going to really inspire you. This could be an individual that almost they're often they're often giving you very positive feedback or even compliments to the point of making you feel a bit uneasy or a bit uncomfortable because perhaps you're not used to hearing such beautiful words. Uh, but I feel that this person is uh, definitely going to open up your horizons. They're going to bring new experiences into your life. That's if you have not met this person already. Now, the next card here is the Seven of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles is the person that is coming in, how they're viewing the situation, or how they're viewing you. Uh, with the Seven of Pentacles, again, I feel that uh, this is a person that is really going to put in the work, that is really 
uh, trying to bring some type of manifestation of this connection. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with the person that is currently on the pursuit of achieving their goals and aspirations. So they, they're very, very hard workers here. With the Two of Cups, the promise of something, of a connection coming through, a very strong connection when we have the Two of Cups here. Um, could be soulmate type of connection. It could be an individual that shares or has commonalities with you in regards to your life or your life experiences. So I feel that this could be the reason why they will inspire you, Taurus. I feel that it's almost like that feeling of, if I was able to do it, you're able to do it. And it's like so motivational. It's so inspiring. Um, I feel that they're coming from a very loving place. And for a lot of you guys, this is a new connection, okay? And the reason I say that is uh, with the Two of Cups, it usually indicates a new connection. Six of Wands, um, feeling victorious or feeling like uh, you're being able to achieve or have happiness at the uh, tips of your finger your fingertips with the tower card this is unexpected connection this is something that is going to come from some type of ending some type of connection that either was weathered was severely damaged um, it could be for some of you guys coming out of a very long-term committed relationship where you're trying to find yourself and within this process you meet this individual that comes in and this is an individual again like i said that shares a lot of commonalities with you. That's what I'm hearing very strongly for you, Taurus. What they're saying is, if you're currently deal dealing with a situation where uh, the relationship with the person that you're currently with is not moving forward and you feel stuck or you feel uh, like things are not progressing in a positive way, what they're telling you is just be prepared, Taurus, because there's going to be a lot of shakeups coming in. And it's almost like, kind of getting to the point of understanding you have to take a different path or you have to take that leap of faith but you're not really wanting to and that spirit's way of creating the tower moment they're going to shake up the ground so that you can tip over and jump to that leap of faith you should have taken if you've trusted in the universe that's what i'm hearing strongly for some of you guys so again it could be a connection that comes in through an ending of a relationship for others of you, it could be um, getting to the point of walking away from a relationship or ending a cycle with a person. And this could even be for those of you guys that are currently single, but keep allowing people from your past to come in. I feel that there's going to be a major shakeup. There's going to be a lot of revelations happening around you. And the reason for that is because Spirit is telling you, stop wasting your time, Taurus. It's time for you to get focused and know what path you're walking on and what is it that you're wanting to achieve or that you're wanting to attain when it comes to relationships and partnerships. So very strong messages for you, Taurus. All right, let's see what energies you need to take on when this uh, person or individual, or if you're already dealing with them, what is the energies that you need to take on? Okay, we have the Princess of Cups here. So what they're telling you is don't be guarded. For those of you guys that are coming out of a connection or a long-term committed relationship, this could be very difficult, but sometimes it is very crucial and important to understand that those that have damaged us or hurt us or brought certain type of lessons to our life are not the same individual. And we have a tendency of carrying this garment or this armor to protect ourselves from a specific individual that hurt us in the past without understanding that not everyone that you come in contact with is out to get you Taurus so what they're telling you is keep an open heart be open to this connection or to the possibility of being happy you deserve this okay don't be so cruel to yourself by becoming almost self-sabotaging um, for some of you guys this could be like becoming uh, like even making fun of people that are in love. Um, and, and the reason is because perhaps you feel um, that perhaps there's no possibility of that ever happening uh, for yourself. So again, I'm hearing very strongly, uh, keep an open mind and an open heart. Um, know that you are worthy of true and genuine authentic love. Uh, the next card that is representing their energy is the judgment card. So the judgment card uh, speaks very highly about making a decision or getting to the point of making a final decision. 
uh, judgment could represent the past. Um, I feel that for those of you guys that recently uh, separated or there's been some type of ending in regards to a relationship, the judgment card could represent a person from your past coming back around. However, keep in mind if there was a tower moment, if there was an ending, if there was something that really shook you to the core um, or that perhaps you were able to see this person's true colors come out at the end of the relationship, take it for what it is. That is who they are. Don't entertain the idea of going back for comfortability or um, because you don't want to challenge yourself. What they're telling you is don't cut yourself so short, okay? Don't give, um, don't give way uh, to continuing being stuck. It is about progress and moving forward. Make the decision with the judgment card uh, to end an ending cycle and to be able to create a new life, a new connection, or the, poss <clears throat> the possibility for happiness for a lot of you, okay? All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.